Here you are folks, we've got our Christmas tree up in the church. Almost ready for Christmas now. You know, there's something about Christmas that I just love. I think it's the greatest season of the year. There's so much about Christmas. First of all, we think of the food, all the lovely food that we're going to eat at Christmas. Some people may be thinking of all the parties that we'll go to at Christmas. And uh, for some people, of course, it's time spent with the family. All kinds of wonderful things can happen at Christmas. And yet, I'm told, I once read, I once read that there are more suicides at Christmas, there are more relationship breakups at Christmas than any other time of the year. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Such a wonderful, happy time as this. I love Christmas. For me, all of the things I've just mentioned, the food, the getting together of people, the meeting with families, all these things are part of my Christmas. But I have to tell you that there is another side uh, to Christmas that is very, very special to me. And you know what I'm going to say, don't you? I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the time when the Saviour of the world came on this earth. God sent his son onto this world. And for me, that's what makes Christmas so very, very special. Because this message of the gospel transformed my life. And it gave me a life I could never have hoped to have lived. This simple message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this is the time of the year when we celebrate the beginning of that gospel, when Jesus came into this world. You know, we all know that this world is in a mess right now and this country of ours is in a mess. We've got uh, unstable powers in this world that are aiming for nuclear weapons. We've got threats of terrorism, all kinds of nasty things going off in this world today and nobody in their right mind can believe that this world is going to find peace in its own self. But it's this message of Christmas that gives us hope and only this message of Christmas. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man or woman will open the door, he's, he's talking about the door of the heart, will open that door, I will come in. But you've got to open the door. There's no handle on the outside for him to open it. The handle is on the inside for us to open it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any person will open that door, I will come in and commune with them. So what kind of Christmas will you have this year? Will you have a, a nice pretty tree with a, a fairy on the top? Or will you have Jesus Christ in your heart this Christmas? Because I want to tell you, without Jesus Christ, this world has no hope. You have no hope. I have no hope. And this is the message of Christmas. This is not a fairy story like Santa Claus. This is the truth. That God sent his son into this world, that whoever believes upon him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want to tell you there's no hope in this life. If you think that things are going to get better in this world today, well, it's not. But there is a new world. Jesus said, behold, I go, this was just before he died, I go to prepare a place for you. And he's talking about those who believe in him, those who follow him, those who obey him. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I know where I want to be. I want to be with Jesus and that's why I follow Jesus because I believe in him and I trust in him. I hope you have a very happy Christmas and I would like to say in a prosperous new year. Frankly in this country or anywhere in the world at the moment I'm not sure I believe in prosperity anymore but nevertheless put your faith in Jesus Christ. Listen this Christmas to the message of Christmas. 
It's not just about the giving and receiving of presents. It's not just about going to parties. It's not just about family get-togethers, though it can be all of these things, and these things are very good in themselves. But the message of Christmas is that a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, has come into this world. And if you find that this Christmas, you will be very, very blessed indeed. God bless you. Have a good one. Bye.